what is going on? I had another idea to test a hydro power unit. We're gonna call this one the tow turbine and you'll recognize this motor from a lot of my other videos and you'll recognize this inner impeller from a lot of my other videos and now it just has a ring on the outside and a cable running through it and a little uh, shaft collar right there just to hold on to the cable and make it so it spins as one. And then you have a shaft adapter right here going from the shaft of the motor into the cable and then we'll have some power output but i the water's higher here like that someone's front yard over there is totally flooded i haven't tested here before but this is the highest i've seen it like i'm almost actually standing in water right now so it's pretty high but let's see if we can get any power or figure out if it has enough torque to be able to attach to a gearbox and get the rpms higher so let's go over there where it's a bit louder and a bit more power so as I was saying, the water is, I mean, it's almost over this dam right here. And it's totally in their front yard. And I've, I've only been here a couple times, but it's flowing pretty good. So we're gonna test right here. It seems like this will be a good spot for future tests or things where we need the faster flowing water with easy access. So we're gonna toss it in there, make sure it spins the way we think it's going to. Or I'm thinking that spot right here. And then we'll see if, if we can get any power without any resistance. And then we'll throw a spawn and see if we get an output. So let's see what it does. So I guess I'm just gonna really hold on to the base here, toss it in and try and get it into that corner right there where I think it's going the fastest where I can reach. So. everyone can see my shaft real clear, you know? So once, all right, let's try and get it farther down. It has 
close enough torque that it didn't feel nice on my finger when I grabbed it. And I'm wearing gloves. You can see it chewed through my gloves pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go on a limb here and say it has more than enough torque. I think with a little bit of improvement, a gearbox, this can get somewhere. But now that we know it is spinning and it has the torque to keep spinning with my finger attached or not, let's throw some testing equipment on there and see if we can get any reading and go from there. I'm not totally sure if the rotations are correct for the output of the reader, or the tester, so we might have to switch it, but I'm gonna just toss it in there and we'll see if it lights up. And I noticed my screw is pretty loose and I think it pulled the threads out of my printed base. So I'm just gonna hold it like this and hopefully my fingers don't find their way in between that shaft. So here we go. I just wanna like kick the thing in there. Is there anything on your uh, reading, on your thing? Hold on, I won't focus. Huh? It's not focusing. Is it lighting up? No. Try, uh, all right, let me try, let me try getting this in a better spot. Here, watch out a sec. Well, for a second, hold on. Spinning right here. Yeah, yeah. Come on, get in, get right in there. Right to right where my knuckles are. Get, get in there. Don't worry about this. Yeah. Just so I'm gonna try and figure out the RPM of the uh, shaft then from this. Yeah, you can see down there. Look how quick that's spinning. All right, so I'm gonna try and grab it one last time. Yeah, you can stop it for like a second, and then and then it, the water grabs it, and it just overpowers you. All right, we can we can go back over there for. A Are you good? So in conclusion with it, it got a little bit chewed up. And I hate to say it, I didn't mean to litter, and I hate to litter, but this piece, yeah, I'm not gonna find it. But we found a few important lessons. Like one, this should probably be thicker. Another one we found is it works really well, and it has the torque but we're, we gotta get a lot more speed out of it because this was cranking, but the rotational speed here wasn't crazy. So with it, we're gonna make a gearbox. We're gonna make a part two. Maybe I'll make a gearbox before it is a separate video, but we're gonna figure out some way to make this, make this spin faster, and that in turn will make more power. So next time, we'll at least light up the screen. Thanks for watching.